in time, we need to know how many minutes, how many seconds are in a minute, how many minutes are in an hour, how many days are in a week, how many months are in a year, how many weeks are in a year. If we know those things, we can do our conversions pretty easily. So this one here, we have so many minutes equals 180 seconds. We need to know that one minute equals 60 seconds. So to get from 60 to 1, we divide by 60. So we're doing the same thing here. So 180 divided by 60 equals 3, because 60 goes into 180 three times. 60 plus 60 plus 60 equals 180. Next one down, 4 hours equals so many minutes. I need to know that 1 hour equals 60 minutes. So to go from 1 to 60, I'm going to multiply by 60. So I do the same thing up here. 4 times 60 is 240, because 4 times 6 is 24, and I add my 0 on. And how many hours are in 10 days? I need to know that in one day, there are 24 hours. So to go from 1 to 24, I am going to multiply by 24. So I need to multiply by 24 here as well. 24 times 1 is 24. Add my 0 on at the end. So 24 times 10 is 240. So there's 240 hours in 10 days. Then 104 weeks is how many years? I need to know that one year is 52 weeks. So to go from 52 to 1, I'm going to divide by 52. So I divide 104 by 52. And 52 goes in 104 two times because 52 plus 52 is 104. So 104 weeks is equal to two years. And the last one down here, blank months equals five years. I know that one year is equal to 12 months. So to go from this to 12, I multiply by 12. So I take my years times 12 to get the number of months. 5 times 12 is 60. So there are 60 months in one year. So remember, you just need to figure out how many units are there and then multiply or divide accordingly. Good luck.